this is why I trust capitalism. I just trust capitalism. Spotify is ruining everything for Silicon Valley. Spotify so far. is so far, pissing yeah. these people off. Yeah. Spotify is making YouTubers, people who watch YouTube. I, my number one app is YouTube. It's my favorite app. I love the app YouTube. It's got a lot of potential to change the world. It's changed the world in many ways. Mm -hmm. Education, all these other things. But to me, Spotify is, I can guarantee in their board meetings right now, the name Spotify comes up regularly. It comes up in Google. It comes up in YouTube. It comes yeah. up in Facebook. It comes up in ev Twitter. It comes up in every one of those conversations. They are all talking about this one company in Sweden called Spotify because capitalism works. I'll give you a perfect example. I go to the airport. Okay, are you are you TSA pre? Are you clear? And are you also clear? I'm are not you, clear because are, I don't fly that much. Are you clear or no? Are you TSA pre? You're just TSA pre. Okay, <laughs> so so check this out. So I'm TSA pre and I'm clear and I go to the airport. TSA pre, hey, yeah, hey, can, put your mask on. I'm like oh, shit, sorry, well, I put the mask <laughs> on. Damn, I because I forget in Florida. Like literally, I forget every time people have to tell me. Clear or say, hey, do you mind putting a mask on? Do you need one? We have a clear mask. We can give you. Here we go. We'll give it to you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, perfect reason why capitalism works. TSA pre, public company, government organization, okay? Mm -hmm. Clear, private company, okay? They have to serve you. They have to service you or else mm -hmm. they don't get business. Right. TSA pre, if you tell a TSA pre employee, what did you say? I'm going to write a negative review on Yelp about TSA <laughs> pre in Dallas. Good luck. Fort Fort. They say, I don't give a shit. Right. Tell a clear. What's your name, Johnny? No problem. I'm going to write a negative review and I'm going to send an email. Oh, please. So what can I do to make it better? I'm so sorry. This has been a terrible experience. Let me make it better for you. Mm -hmm. What can I do? That's capitalism. Capitalism is about serving you and the government organizations are like, you better listen to me because you don't have an alternative. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other day, Jen, we're going through, I don't know where we're going. Where were we last week? I don't even know where we were. Anyways, we're going somewhere and Jennifer's got the milk because, you know, she, baby's still six months. So she's still going through Aww. the phase of, uh, you know. The, the, all the machines that she's got to travel with, <laughs> yeah. but she has the milk, and she puts it through. And the guy's standing there, and it's been 10 minutes. I'm like, i got a flight. I says, excuse me, is, is there any way you can, uh, how soon can you guys take a look at Jen's back? Wait, we'll let you know. And walks off. I'm like, dude, I'd love to slap you upside the head right now, <laughs> yeah. but if I do, I'm going to jail if I do that, because right. you can't do that, right? That's not customer service. Mm -hmm. Let me get with you in a minute. Let me see what I can, let me see if I can get somebody. That's TSA. So mm -hmm. trust capitalism, man. Long term, as long as capitalism is this core system where people can compete in the marketplace, product prices will go lower. Mm -hmm. Products will improve. Websites will get better. Experiences will get better. Customer service will get better. Customer experience. In every possible way, capitalism can help make your life better because they have to compete. Think the about day what these guys don't compete is when those things don't get better. I'm listening to what you're saying, and I 100% agree, but my mind immediately goes to schools. Because you have kids all around the country suffering in schools that don't work. And every time someone suggests vouchers, every time someone suggests mm. charters, every, every time someone suggests turning, you know, bringing the free market into the educational system and, and doing something, actually doing something about that, Democrats come back and say, well, no, it's just more funding that we need. In the meantime, we've been giving funding to, to schools for so long, more and more and more money, and it doesn't produce this results. This was the whole thing with Betsy DeVos, right? That's exactly I mean, right. she got vilified. If you watched anything on yes. the left, you think she's the most evil person ever. She's, she was about school vouchers, and that's essentially freedom. capitalism, See, right? See, the reason, you know, you asked me in the beginning if this was my hill to die on the vaccines, and I said, mm -hmm. it's not about vaccines for me. It's about freedom. It's about empowering yeah. people. It's about you have a kid and you have one school in your district and that school is failing and you want the opportunity to take your child into a better school system, into a better school, and you can't do that. I want to empower that family yeah. to be able to do that. I want to force those bad schools to perform better by having to compete with a really good school that now kids are flocking to. And again, the reason people on the left often oppose all of these things is because it removes power from government mm -hmm. and it removes power of government over you you. Government then can no longer tell you what school you put your kid into. And once people realize that they don't need government for those things, that they can rely on themselves, that they have some freedom in society, they can build their own lives, that they get to keep more of their hard-earned cash, all of those things, government becomes less and less powerful, less and less needed. And the politicians that are espousing big government, 
lose favor with the public. So the whole system is broken because of a lack of freedom. So I was talking education because I came out of education in television first. Now I'm talking about vaccines. I could be talking about anything, but what I'm really talking about is freedom. That is a hill I will die on more so now because I have a two-year-old and I'm increasingly worried about the world that he's coming into. I want him to be a free thinker. I want him to live freely. I want him to be able to build the life he wants for himself and make his own choices for his own health and his own family. And I want people who are going to be an obstacle to that to be voted out of office and to get out of his way. So he has given me a great sense of, of, of um, motivation and power at this time. And I just think of his face and I'm like, this, this is worth fighting for. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.